Today, I'll be discussing the MFJ Versatuna 3. Stick around. I've been using the MFJ Versatuna 3 for several months now, and I found it quite effective in tuning these frequencies that somehow are beyond the scope of the radio, the safe operation of the radio that is. So let me tell you a little bit about the MFJ, and I'm going to go ahead and give you a demonstration on its use. Okay, I'm going to refer to my notes here, uh, so bear with me here. I can't keep all this stuff memorized at the top of my head, so I'm just going to read off my notes here, and I'm not so off, so I'm looking down. Uh, basically, the MFJ, this particular tuner, the MFJ uh, 962D, is a T-network roller, uh, roller inductor with a built-in antenna switching, RF power, uh, SWR metering, and a one-to-one -one ballon. The largest amplifiers that can uh, safely be used with include the Heathkit single side banner SB200 and the 201, and the Collins uh, 30L1. It's also designed uh, for a max RF power of 800 watts carrier or PEP on 80 to 10 meters, and 500 watts carrier or PEP on 160 meters. The peak and average forward power, reflective power, and SWR are reflected, or display that is, in the watt meters illuminated cross needle uh, meter. And I'll be showing that a little bit later in the demonstration. The MFJ uh, continually tunes all frequencies through 1.8 all the way up to uh, 30 megahertz. It does have a wide uh, range of matching, ca matching capabilities. It'll match dipoles, uh, inverted Vs, verticals, mobile whips, uh, beams and random wires as many as well as many other antennas. The built-in ballon will work with ballon, uh, to balance open wire, twin, uh, twin lead or twin axle feed lines. Okay, well let's go ahead and take a look at the front panel and the rear panel of the uh, MFJ 962D VersaTuner 3. Oh, okay, this is a front view of the uh, MFJ VersaTuner 3, the model's 962 uh, Delta. Now, it, what's really odd on, it's very similar to mine, except you'll see on mine, when I show you the video, that these three buttons, the uh, the range, power, and lamp button are all reversed. There are lamp buttons on this side, and the uh, power range are on this side. Outside of that, the front of the transmitter is identical. It that's, that's, must be uh, of another version of the 962D, but they're both 962Ds. Anyway, beyond that, over on the right, we have the inductance uh, coil here, the in, not coil, but the inductance knob that is. It uh, goes up to 125 inductance is the highest. It's where you start at when you start to tune a, a frequency, and you lower the inductance, and in doing so, you alter the uh, your SWR here. Uh, down here, you have your your range and your power switch. You go high range and uh, or er, high range or peak and average. Uh, power is high or low, and the lamp button, this little red button right here, basically just turns the light on for your meter here. You don't need to run. This uh, this tuner does not require any power at all. The only power it requires uh, to operate is uh, the 12 volt, and it doesn't even require that. You can run this thing without this uh, being amp uh, lit up at all. It doesn't have to be backlit at all. So if you never plugged in the power, you could still use this uh, tuner. You could use it uh, parts on the air or whatever if you're out and about and don't have access to any power at all. Now here's your selector, uh, selector knob, your antenna and transmitter. You have all these different settings to set at. And I'll show you, uh, you're just wondering where do you start at. Well, the MFJ gives you a guideline, and I'll show you that in a second, of where you start. But this is our, basically your selective knobs. Uh, down here, this knob right here. It lets you select uh, all the different options you have on the rear of this unit itself. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this uh, tuner in action. Okay, for the demonstration here, I will be using the uh, ICOM 7300 set at 40 meter band. I've also set this, took this off a single sideband, put it into FM mode. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's in FM mode. You can use FM or CW. Uh, this would give you a, a better, a more accurate reading. Also, I have taken my transmit power, I've knocked it down to 
uh, off the 100%, just in case, I've already checked the frequency, nobody's on it, but in case somebody gets on it during this demonstration, there's less chance of interference. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you what the SWR is on this uh, one particular frequency in the 40 meter band right now. So just watch the screen down here, and as you can see, it's pegging, and also watch this meter up here. Uh, it's going into, right here, the infinity. It's almost like SWR is an infinity. Not good at all. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and tune our radio here, or tune, tune, use the tuner to tune the radio itself. Uh, you're not actually tuning the antenna, of course. You're just making the radio happy so you don't damage your radio. So, what we're going to do is, going by the uh, MFJ documentation, which I showed you, um, we're going to set the transmitter antenna and antenna knobs to three, and both of them are already set to three. Here we go. That's at three. Uh, we can leave your power at, at low or high. I do either way, and either average or uh, PK doesn't matter. Uh, I, this red button right here is the lamp button that turns the uh, this lamp on behind. But for the sake of this demonstration, this washes it out and you can't see it, so I'm leaving that off. Uh, here's your inductance dial right here. Now this needs to be set before you tune the any frequency. You need to set it to the highest inductance, which is 125. Now once you've done that, as said, you saw the needle is almost at infinity. That's well over infinity, so let me clear this out. Now what we're going to do, starting at the high, in, high inductance, and we're going to take it from 125 we're going to lower this down here. Uh, actually, I found check at about 100 or 111. Okay, yeah, okay. We see we, we saw this here, where the two needles cross. As you can see, if I move these, you can see them moving. Right now, this is probably an SWR of uh, almost four. Going down, that's uh, two. As you see, it's going down here, going way down. Right now, it's pegging almost a one, almost a one. Now, you remember what it looked like here? Let's just go ahead and clear this and watch the bottom screen here. Now, if this says that this particular frequency is tuned, very, very good improvement. So, this is how you use the MFJ tuner here. Uh, like I said, you do have to make sure this is set to begin with at the highest inductance, which is 125. Uh, your needles here, you can see the readings on them is where the two needles cross. Uh, that is going to be your SWR. And it's, uh, let's go ahead and do this again. Uh, see, I'm putting out it's, it's close to about 50 watts. That's where I set it to about 50. And right here, it is set to nearly 1.0, so it's close to 1 to 1. So right now, this particular frequency is tuned. Okay, here is the instruction manual for the 962D uh, tuner. You can download this from various sites. This is one right off of uh, DX Engineering. I believe MFJ's got one themselves, and I believe anybody who sells this particular uh, manual tuner will have this on their website as well, uh, free for download. Now, I was saying earlier where you have the uh, transmitter and your antenna knobs, and you have a 1 through 10 selection as far as numbers go, and uh, you would be running blindly if you didn't know exactly where to start out at, but uh, on the, or in the instruction manual itself, uh, it says right here, it gives you the full uh, instructions of operations here, and be, starting on page seven or whatever, it's in there somewhere. But anyway, uh, basically it tells you about how to use this, and right here is um, where uh, they give you the numbers to use for whatever meter, like 160 meter, you use zero. In my case, I use 40 meter, which I'll use three. 30 meter uses thir three and a half, so that's, you know, between four, and so on. This is the whole uh, frequencies and what, uh, where to set your 
uh, transmitter and your antenna dials, antenna dials too, to go ahead and get started. Uh, they go on with more instructions in this manual itself. It's a pretty good manual, written very well as far as I'm concerned. Uh, gives you grounding hints, uh, antenna system hints, location, uh, everything you could possibly really need to know about this particular manual, manual tuner and its operation. Uh, it even shows you down here the placement of the uh, tuner itself. And on the back, uh, see the layout of trim, the trim pot locations. It, it gives you some good stuff here. So uh, here's another thing I've noticed on this particular um, in manual here. Also, you can have a chart uh, to log the values for your station here. Uh, and you can go ahead and basically, if you if you got a, if you've got a particular frequency you want to tune just right, uh, you can put it in here. Put the settings in here so you have a quick reference just to uh, leave it here in the shack by the tuner itself. It makes life a lot easier. Well, I hope the information I provided you has been helpful if you are looking for a manual tuner and may have thought about the MFJ962D but want to take a closer look at it. It is, again, a very good tuner. I've not had any problem with it at all. Um, MFJ seems to be making a decent product. Uh, it may not be as expensive as some of the other tuners out there. And at the time of this recording, it's a uh, retail price. It's around $400. You may find it lower somewhere, or depending on the age of the video that when you watch this, it may be more expensive if not been replaced by a newer model. Well, thank you for watching. And if you haven't uh, done so already, consider subscribing to the channel clicking the like button and doing the, the routine, you know the routine, if you so desire. And leave some comments below. Do you use a tuner? Do you use an external tuner? And if so, which ones do you use? And which ones have you found to be uh, really beneficial and most uh, reliable for you? Well, until next time, this is Steve, Kilo 4, Sierra Romeo Foxtrot. We'll catch you later. Thank you.